Hey everyone, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today I've got some exciting updates for you about the 5th anniversary celebration, including the surprise double draw, the Zodiac series armory, and a special code point rebate. I want to take a quick moment to highlight a video I made 2 months ago, where I speculated about this exact event. If you've been following the channel, you'll know we called this one early. What if I told you that very soon, the only two legendaries is still treated as primary rewards, the AK-117 Acer and the FR-556 Super High could also end up in these double draws. In this new double draw, the featured legendaries are the AK-117 Acer and the QQ-9 Sigrun. Months ago, I predicted that the AK-117 Acer would eventually show up in a double draw, and now it's happening. Back then, I advised you all to hold off on purchasing these in special events or for you draws because they were bound to appear in a better offer. And here we are. It also explains why these items have been absent from for you draws for such a long time. Activision clearly had plans to save them for this special double draw. In addition to the AK-117 Aesir and QQ-9 Sigrun, most of the items from the original Odin Song draw made a return in this double draw. Here's what you can expect. Wingsuit, Warcry Emote, Combat Axe, Axis Keg with a sleek design, Backpack, Ruin Odin's Omen character skin, Charm and Calling Card. The only item that's been swapped out is the Locus Ancient Mist, replaced by the legendary QQ9 Sigrun. Now having the QQ9 Sigrun in this draw is pretty special. It's one of the most popular QQ9 skins in the game. That said, the legendary QQ9 skins have lost a bit of their spotlight ever since the mythic version was introduced. It's probably why this one has the 1.25% odds in the lucky draw, while the AK-117 Acer remains the main reward. Alright, let's dive into the exciting Zodiac series armory. I'll be creating a separate, in-depth video covering everything you need to know about this armory but there's one standout feature that makes this series truly unique the zodiac series legendaries have a very exclusive feature tied to their weapon inspection when you inspect the weapon you'll first see the related zodiac sign appear before the weapon inspection animation begins now typically weapon inspections for legendaries are pretty standard with only a few exceptions where we've seen special legendary inspections like the legendary fennec which has a unique animation but this zodiac series takes it a step further offering an experience that feels much closer to a mythic inspection. Since the armory includes 6 legendary weapons, we'll get to see half of the zodiac signs represented in this series. Which zodiac inspired inspection do you think will look the best? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Now let's talk about the code points rebate, or rather the lack of it. It's a bit disappointing that we haven't seen this added to the game yet. Instead what we've got is a cashback bonus, which honestly doesn't hold up as a comparable offer to something like the double CP or CP rebate. So does this mean the CP rebate is cancelled? It's hard to say for sure. There's still hope, especially with the Zodiac series armory. Considering this armory features 6 legendary weapons, it's bound to be pricey. A CP rebate could still happen, but I wouldn't keep your expectations too high at this point. What's even more confusing is the vague messaging in the official post about this topic. They haven't made anything clear about whether the CP rebate will appear. But one thing to keep in mind is that we haven't seen series points offer introduced yet, meaning there's still more content on the way. So if you're feeling unsure about spending your code points or planning to buy more, my advice would be to hold off for now. None of the current lucky draws are leaving the store anytime soon, so there's no rush. Let me know in the comments if you're still holding out hope for the CP rebate, or if you think the cashback bonus is the final offer. Alright, let's talk about grinding those dream aurora camos from the chasing dreams event. By now I'm sure many of you have been working on unlocking these stunning camos, but some of the missions might seem a bit tricky or unclear. So let me break them down for you and show you exactly how to complete them quickly and efficiently. Team unlocks 3 coded locks. To complete this you need to decrypt a key. These keys can be found around the map, typically near areas like industrial or night station. You'll need to find and unlock 3 saves using the key. To access the saves, you'll first need to unlock the secret room in the pool area. Doing this will also complete the next achievement task known as open the door of the pool. Run to the end of the underground passage and open a total of 3 saves within 3 minutes to successfully complete the 2 tasks. To complete the achievement task, open the Golova secret room, follow these steps. Head to the big church located in Tranquility Parish on the Cry map. This is where the secret room is hidden. Inside the church, there are teddy bears scattered around. Look for them carefully in hidden corners or elevated areas. Use your weapon to shoot each teddy bear. This action triggers the mechanism that grants access to the secret room. After shooting enough the teddy bears, the secret room will unlock. The room is located on the top floor of the church. Use the ladder to climb up and enter the room. 
to complete the achievement task manager train successfully follow these steps head to the night station location on the map this is where you will find the terminal to activate the train interact with the terminal and you will see a puzzle like interface with flashing points connect these points correctly to complete the activation process keep in mind the pattern of flashing points changes each round so pay attention to the new arrangement once the connection is successful a green message will appear on the screen confirming that the train is activated to complete the achievement tasks chase the way chickens one time successfully and chase the way chickens three times successfully follow these steps head to the safari land animal play park on the map this is where you will find the roaming chickens shoot at the chickens until they react by flapping their wings and jumping around you only need to shoot three chickens in total to complete both tasks for the rest just focus on staying consistent with your daily tasks weekly tasks and achievement tasks and you'll collect plenty of dream aurora camo crates along the way good luck with finishing up the event and unlocking those rewards let's take a look at some upcoming characters which might be free later in season 10 it is important to note that these skins are not confirmed to be free but considering these skins have no ties to any upcoming strong boxes or crates it makes it possible that they might be free later in the season first up we have codename lazarus toxic overflow this is a reskin of his original skin that came with the mythic cbr4 the design and color scheme are very similar to the original lazarus skin so if you don't own the original this would be a great addition to your collection the next skin we do have is reaper peak light featuring a very vibrant skin with multiple colors once i get some more additional information i'll let you guys know so definitely stay tuned for that let's also talk about the upcoming lucky draw featuring legendary argos true balance this is the second legendary skin for the argus i would say this is the best one when it comes to design a lot of people speculated that since there's a clear scale on the blueprint it will end up in zodiac series armory under libra sign however code mobile was thinking about justice so it has nothing to do with the zodiac series armory this skin also has multiple reactive stages as you can see the kill effect is my favorite thing when it comes to this legendary skin i love how it has two stages well you will see the lady scales of justice statue and then shortly it breaks down i would say this is one of the most innovative kill effects we have seen in the game in the recent history We should also take a look at the completionist and seasonal camos with this skin. Also let me know which one you think looks the best with it. The character skin we are going to get in this lucky draw is his sliver justice. What I love about this skin is that it resembles blind lady scales of justice statue. The other best items in this lucky draw are the emote and the epic BP50 skin if you don't have one. All these skins have the same textures and I think they look pretty good. What do you guys think about this lucky draw? Let me know in the comment section below. And well that's all for today's video. If you found this helpful be sure to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.